Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow we'll start pouring the second floor, which will be nice. Hopefully we get our supplies today. We need uh, some cement before we can do anything. We ain't getting very far with what we have left right now. Anyways, let's go take a look around and see what everybody's doing. All right, it looks like they're still bagging sand and gravel, but uh, we have the full crew back today. So I think we have, what, nine people or so? He's over here cleaning up the mess over here. Uh, we're definitely gonna need some sand here sometime soon. There's lots of gravel down here. And we got this mess over here that uh, I would suspect there's not really much uh, usable uh, plywood there. At least get the nails out of it, because I see a lot of nails and I really don't want it on our property. Stepping on it barefooted walking around in the grass later on for the dog get it All right, here's our stack of gravel Here's our stack of sand and Here's our broken uh, Cement mixer we need a few items still To uh, be able to do anything tomorrow for this pour but they got all the forms almost all the way around for what they're gonna pour for the second floor slab I mean, there's a little bit of work that they got to do still. I think they got to add on some rebar in places. And uh, looks like they got a lot of the dowels already set up and in place for the splitting. Maybe later on we'll, uh, when these guys take a break, I'll uh, go up top and uh, take a look. Alright, this is the last little bit that they got to do for up top for the form work. So uh, this is our little stair area. Thought they were all done, but when we got inside, there was all of it. Well, I guess everything works, even a screw for nails. But uh, yeah, we just got this a little bit. It'll be done. I think actually uh, they're gonna put the mixer up top. I'm not 100% sure what exactly they're gonna do, but it looks like they're setting it up to go up top. Alright, the foreman's over here uh, making the little ledge to lock everything in that they uh, poured cement on last night. Lots of little touch up here and there, making sure everything's all uh, sealed up. We are up on top. Take a nice little look around. We got it almost all filled in, except for a few spots. They're actually getting the, uh, got everything laid out for the rooms and stuff, the hallways up here. So, not bad. I know they got to get a lot of rebar laid in here because there's nothing in here to hold it really. I mean they got some dowels in here but uh... It's no webbing you could call it I guess. I don't know exactly but... I see some stuff that needs to be done so... They got some fun to do still. It is after lunch and uh... Guys had a little bit of a... A delivery of like another contraption. But... To get all their supplies and everything up and then they got this little bugger i'm trying to figure out i would suspect maybe they're going to use it to get the con the concrete mixer up there or something but they got a little winch and pulley system over here it actually has like a little seat thingy over here i guess <laughs> you can ride it up if uh if you want to or else they're gonna uh Mix the concrete up down here and then send it down. I haven't uh, talked to the contractor yet. Uh, not the contractor, the foreman. But this is uh, quite an interesting contraption. And looks like they're taking down a lot of stuff and reinforcing uh, the beams. Still waiting on material. So we're gonna have a little bit of interesting fun. So and the big pulley with the winch they were using the other day to put uh, the sea joist up. Uh, they're gonna use it, I think it's right up here. They're gonna use it to pull up 
the mixer on the complete opposite side. Here shortly after they get done with their break, I think they're gonna um, pull the mixer up. I'm gonna take that cement mixer and line it up on, on this little bugger. And I'm gonna pull it up. It should be quite interesting to see how this is gonna work because there is those little brass coupling pieces are sticking up so it's gonna hang up on those on the top and here in the middle. It's uh, gonna be entertaining at the most to uh, watch them uh, do this. I'm sure everybody would be like, oh my god, safety, 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 but uh, yeah, it's more fun in the Philippines. <laughs> we got this little contraption here. I'm uh, getting a better view of it. They were, they had the motor up there. They're trying to see if they can uh, use it on this little thing, but I think they're gonna use a, uh, a counterweight. Uh, on this little pulley system that they got but they did weld in a bracket for the electric motor for this i think there's supposed to be one or uh, they're gonna share this one motor we'll see i'm gonna climb up there here in a minute and take a look and see what's going on up here got a nice load of cement nothing like a last minute it's almost closing time and tomorrow will be the day uh, they start pouring. We only had 25 bags left. We did the main floor. We did 50 bags of the Portland cement. This is uh, gonna be nice to have. And there it is. Man, that's uh, actually quite a bit of uh, cement in there. Maybe probably uh, get us all the way through the rest of the, the build, I would suspect. Wow, that's a lot of cement. That should be it for us. There's a... Uh, the rebar, it looks like 8mm they're putting in this flooring. Uh, guess we gotta use something. Out of everything that's super heavy duty, we're gonna do the second floor a little light, but I don't, I don't know how strong this uh, C joist is, all this, all this other stuff. So we'll see as it uh, progresses to uh, tomorrow. As it. Uh, as these guys uh, go along, they gotta take the uh, rebar the other way here this evening. Be interesting to see how this all comes out. Can't wait to walk on it. Cause this, uh, what these guys are doing right now, they're standing on this, that little tin and uh, I'm sort of a little afraid to walk on that. Uh, I got these guys by 50, 75 pounds easy. So uh, if I walk on them, it ain't gonna be good. Cause uh, if you watch them walk on them, it, it's a little bouncy for them. So if it's me, <laughs> forget it. <laughs> so these guys just uh, are putting that uh, 8mm rebar up there. And they, uh, they sort of uh, get a get a good run at it and one guy catches at the other end and two guys uh from the bottom push it up uh try to get it up there they got it up there they, they had some fun doing it oh. <laughs> Alright, so these guys are doing all the 8mm rebar going that way. They haven't done anything from west to east. What's the spacing, Kuya, between the rebar? 23 centimeters. So the spacing between is going to be 23 centimeters. And the size of rebar, again, my husband mentioned it's 8 mm. It looks like the hole that we had that's overhang, they cover it with phenolic board. So if you guys can see it, this is the top of our siding cover and the rebar inside is gonna be right here so probably the gap I think the gap is like about three inches 
from the rebar. And what they're doing on hooking all these uh, 8 mm is they just did and then they used the tie wires to lock it. And they also have all of the dowels ready. So when they uh, put the hollow blocks. These guys are not scared. They're all stepping on the steel form on top of it. I guess it's sturdy enough on the bottom. Well, there is a group of people sitting here trying to figure out we ran out of 8mm rebar so now it's scavenge time because we don't have enough for the uh, the slab up on the second floor. I mean, I see a, a few, but there might be some 10 in there instead of uh, 8. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do. So, these guys are, uh, the winch only goes to this part where the welder is at so they're using some uh the last piece of 8mm to i'm bending it to so they can use it to winch up this will be interesting once they winch it up because it's just a piece of rebar once it gets up to the top but i'm sure they'll figure out something it's gonna be a crazy contraption it's even still short the only thing goes right there so about four foot distance still, they're short. <laughs> but I guess they'll hold it or do something with it to, to make it work. That's just sitting right here waiting to go up. Here comes the fun. I'm not, I think they're just getting it set up. These guys gotta lift it up onto this little bracket thing where they can winch it up. Maybe they're gonna get it. And here comes the move. Oh my goodness. That's heavy for two people. Ugh. Man, I feel these guys. Alright, I got more help down here. <laughs> There. There we go. Well, we gotta figure out how to keep the front end from sliding. Okay, we're getting ready to pull this contraption together. Well, the break. Now to work. Yeah, there we go. Comes the fun part. We're gonna wash this bugger. Go right on up this. Hopefully. There's a, there's a lot of uh, different. The rope isn't the main puller. That's just to help this front end to keep it up so it doesn't hang on anything. I don't. We're all gonna be uh, entertained here, I would suspect, on how they're gonna get this up. This thing is gonna be uh, sturdy, I think. We'll see. I mean, it's using number 16 uh, wire right there tied around that pole to hold it. And then another 16 pole. Oh, oh my goodness. I guess it's not going to get it. The pole is uh, bending. It's up there pretty good, but the pole is just bending. This isn't going to be uh, fun. Back to the drawing board, I think. Oh, so they're uh, adding a little bit more uh, rebar on this. They are really MacGyvering this thing uh, to uh, get it. To get it to, to work as a as a pulley, it's, uh, it was bending pretty good. <laughs> so we're gonna see. I think their angle's a little wrong right there, but I don't think there's much they can do about the angles. They're just gonna reinforce some stuff and give her a shot again. Hey, right, here goes a try again. Ah, it's holding. Oh, there it is. Oh, ah. it's going up. There it is! Oh, they got problems. They're gonna have all kinds of stuck problems. 
<laughs> so they got the ropes up up top tied to it and they're holding it up there bracing it all right here we go again oh oh i gotta lift it up over that go 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 oh my goodness <laughs> oh no way this is <laughs> uh, I knew this was going to be good entertainment for everybody. And now the tires. Oh, oh, oh. And these guys got to lift it up over this. I don't know how they're going to do it on the next set of bars. They're going to try it again. Got a piece of scaffolding and they're wedging, wedging it up underneath it to get over this uh, little bar. Looks like they're, uh, oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> I think that they uh, would have a better luck if they had a little bit of air in those tires. Not 100% sure, but... Oh, wow, well, there it goes over. Oop. One tire's over. Well, there it is. Oh! Now they got, a, they got another bar they got to get up and over. <laughs> oh, man. I am not standing even... This is crazy. Oh, they're wedging it. <laughs> oh, that's over. Now we got more tires. And then they got the little ledge to get it up and over. This is true. <laughs> I don't think there was no risk assessment in this one or uh, safety meeting, pre-meeting pre for this. <laughs> oh, 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 that ain't good. The forms. Just, they gotta lift it. Ooh. Oh. Damn. If you can't see it, the winch a little is a, is a bending over there. It got some tension. And it's up. Well, someone, they might be fixing some forms, but yay! Okay, guys, this is the close up of, I think this is the finished product of the rebar on top of the steel form. And our contractor is saying that we're supposed to use a mesh but he upgraded it to 8 mm but yep that's pretty much what we're gonna have just 8 mm it's almost done pretty much but these guys are done for today they get burnt out from lifting or bringing the mixer over here on the top but this is the only area that they need to work out probably tomorrow morning and this is not bad because the other side they finished this up really fast Oh, our contractor is here. <laughs> he made it on the top. He's making sure everything is all good on there. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell button over here in the corner. To get notified when our next videos are out. Goodbye now.